So I, well, she needs to be around animals because we never had pets around the house, right? Now. So it's like, okay, I'll, I found a place where they needed help uh, handling dogs and, and cats to a lesser degree uh, for adoptions on Saturday mornings, and we'd go and we'd spend time with the, with the dogs and the cats and and be of service, you know. <laughs> do some training with the dogs, get them to walk on leash, get a, get the wild ones to calm down and the calm ones that were shy to be more outgoing and socialize with other dogs so that they would make a good pet for somebody's home. And uh, as my alcoholism blossomed, that was the only day of the week where I ever did anything for anybody else. And I used to really look forward to that Saturday morning. Sometimes I'd be a little hungover, it was tough, but I'd get up and I would go. And I'd be of service, and I'd feel like a person again, you know, it would kind of pull me back. Um, that service work probably allowed me to live a little bit longer till I got the idea that, hey, I need help. <laughs> but, uh, you know, when I think, and then it was funny because my, my daughter then decided that she had other things. She didn't really want to do that, but I stayed with the service work. I still kept going and helping the dogs and the people and so forth. And uh, as I was heading down here, um, one of the people in that group gave me $100, which doesn't sound like much, but the $100 was allowed me to, to eat while I was on my drive down here to Florida because I was broke. I took down here all I could fit in my car, and that, that was about it. And uh, $100 for food to last me for a couple days, and, and I was on my adventure, you know. Two weeks sober on my way down here. I got sober when I was 55, so it's never too late to start, you know. Um, you just have to admit to yourself that you're broken and you need help and open up. But service work was the first thing that I found that made me understand that I did have some value, that I wasn't a complete loser. And you know, certainly early on in my, my sobriety, helping other newer people when they came in. I remember a fellow who was in the military, he just gotten out, he was living in his van, helped him find a place to, to stay and, and uh, into a sober home. and. I don't know, there, there's been so many through the years, but uh, just being of service to other people is where I find my value today. Thanks. Thanks, Barry. Hey, Mario.